All right. I want to start with one of the big stories that broke this week. It's on everyone's minds. Of course, I'm talking about the Chicago Bears. They announced that they have been they have closed on the purchase of Arlington Park, which is a huge step toward the team moving outside of Chicago. I know that you've been following this story, Brandon. Your yeah. thoughts? <laughs> I mean, the whole reason they brought in Kevin they're Warren, leaving. yeah, is they're they're, they're going to leave. I mean, it's pretty much a done deal. They released a statement saying this does not mean it's a done deal. Of course, yeah. and there's still right. lots of different processes that have to go through. But sure. look, this is a pretty big <laughs> this is a pretty big side that they got this. So, some context here: the Bears right now are projected as the fifth most lucrative franchise in football. And that's according to Forbes. It's also projected if they move to Arlington Heights, they become the number one most lucrative franchise by building a new stadium. The idea is that it brings in more revenue, brings in more interest. And the big conversation, of course, is a dome. Soldier Field, Mm -hmm. the snowy conditions, players get frustrated. Justin Fields just making comments uh, (laughs) on a podcast about how he would like a dome. He said, quote, I don't care if we're at Soldier Field. I don't care if we're at Arlington Heights. I hope we get a dome. <laughs> now, here's the tough part for Mayor Lori Lightfoot, okay? She doesn't want to go down as the mayor that lost the Bears. Um, and she's kind of throwing in her Hail Marys right now. She's offered to put a dome over Soldier Field. Mm-hmm. The cost of that, though, let, let me get this exact number for you. It's, it's a doozy. <laughs> we're talking billions of dollars here. $2 billion, okay? $2.2 <laughs> billion for a, a dome over Soldier Field. Some of that, she says, would be through a licensing naming rights deal, but she hasn't given an exact plan to fund the rest of it. She had a press conference yesterday reacting to this. She's not losing hope. She says that now the situation, basically, she was not allowed to negotiate directly with the Bears Mm. during this process because they were in exclusive negotiations with the Arlington Heights race course area. Now that that deal has been kind of struck, she can now talk with the Bears freely, and she thinks that actually benefits her, and she's hoping she can make a late Hail Mary pass and get them to say, hey, Soldier Field, we're going to make some renovations, we're going to make it more attractive, and keep them there. The negotiation better be a poker game, though, because (laughs) she's got no cards to play. That's the tough part, right? I mean, she... we, we're still paying <laughs> off the $700 million in bonds that it costs to redo Soldier Field. Yeah. Right. Where is the money going to come from? And it, no deal that she can cut can give the Bears what they're going to get in Arlington Heights, exactly. which is yeah. total control mm-hmm. over everything, mm-hmm. the building, parking, concessions. Yeah. You're talking about a dome. We could, we could have a, a, a Final Four. Uh, st- located in Chicago, mm-hmm. we, uh, there could be uh, mega concerts in the winter right. there. Yes, so there's sure. many more uh, money making politi- uh, money making possibilities right. mm-hmm. for the McCaskies in Arlington Heights and exist in Soldier Field, and and nothing Lori Lightfoot does can really can really compare right. to that. Right, they already made up their mind. Let's face it; they didn't want to leave <laughs> for a while now. Yeah. It's not the first time well, that they proposed. Corley, it. I mean, <laughs> the question that keeps coming up. Is, is is what is Chicago without the Bears, right? But should the question be, what is the team without, without Chicago? Chicago? I think that's a better question. <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, there's still going to be Chicago Bears, right? It's a lot of teams, NFL teams yeah. that don't play in a city necessarily. That's, that's that's the thing. I've been rooting for them to move because you look at most. There's a lot of NFL teams. New York Giants, New York Jets are not in New York. They're mm-hmm. in New Jersey. Right. The the Washington Washington football team. They are not in Washington. They're in Maryland. <laughs> right. Like, you know, there's there's numerous teams that they're not in the city that their name claims to be. So it's not out of the ordinary yeah. at all. And Soldier Field is still going to be there. Yeah, I imagine exactly. Notre Dame and other college programs, mm-hmm. Northwestern are gonna still use it. You still got concerts. You'll still have the on the run tours and right. the Rena- <laughs> Renaissance tour and everything. Exactly. Beyonce's right. gonna do her thing in the summer. <laughs> they're still true. gonna use it and make improvements. Well, for I sure. will say I'm not rooting for them to leave, but if they do, it it won't be such a loss. I mean, you got to consider this, too. <laughs> there is a possibility that if the Bears leave and go to Arlington, uh-huh. Chicago, number three market in the country, could still make a play for a possible second, second. NFL oh, team. Yeah, I don't was. think that's going to happen. It's, it's a long shot. It's a pipe dream. It's a long shot. <laughs> yeah, it's a long shot. First of all, they have, I think they but have right, fun. To, right of first refusal. They do. Uh, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because, yeah, Absolutely. They, they, they own the market, so yeah. to speak, under the NFL rules. But another reason to go to Arlington Heights is the fan experience at Soldier Field is miserable. Yeah, man. Mm. Unless you're in a box. It's very nice if you're in a skybox. Mm. Uh-huh. It's very convenient. <laughs> yeah. But if you have no to sit outside in those nosebleed, you okay. know, 
uh, seats and, and the and the conditions, the long lines. Driving for cons- there, parking there, getting it's there, oh getting God. out of there. Exactly. It's a nightmare. So, so like, which of you is actually going to drive out to Arlington Heights for a game? I may do that one time during preseason. Take the metro. You know, yeah. No, during preseason. During preseason, yeah. That's my that's my time. I don't really go. That's too expensive. The proposal <laughs> calls for a new train station that's going to be outside yeah. of the Arlington racetrack area. That's going to be a direct. You know, Chicago to Arlington Heights. So, oh yeah, really? Yeah. So oh, nice. That that issue would probably probably be resolved there. But you still yeah. got Metro right there too, and so the field. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's a question from uh, Chicago 675 on YouTube. They say, can a dome actually work at Soldier Field the yeah. way it's set up? Now? If you spend enough money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's you why know, it's two point two billion. <laughs> right. you can fix it up. <laughs> you know, putting lipstick on a pig is still a pig. Mm. Yeah. There's still uh, you know the site location problems. The difficulty in getting there, getting out of there, um, right. and uh, again, there's the revenue side, which yeah. the city simply can't match. Right. Yeah. So if, if they don't end up moving, say they strike a deal with with Mayor Lightfoot and they get the dome over Soldier Field, and they stay in Chicago, does that mean that they're stuck with this 197 million dollar property in Arlington Heights, Brandon? There, there are ways they can basically they have first ownership rights of it. They, there are things they can do with that site outside of having a stadium. Their mm-hmm. their big proposal has been an overall entertainment district in that area, a bear's land in a sense. Yeah, um, they could still do that. Would it make sense to do that without a stadium there? Probably not. So mm-hmm. you'd think that the bears would probably look to then sell it back or sell it to somebody else at that. What point. I want to know is, did they pay cash or do they have a mortgage? <laughs> and if they have a mortgage, what's the nut? You know? That's Good a great question. question. That's exactly right. the question. Oh, what's, what's the earliest that they can leave? They can twenty. 20- 20, 2033 is when the lease is over, right? Ooh, I think it's it's uh, probably sooner than that. So mm-hmm. they, they can leave sooner than that, but it's it's going it, to take a while. It's going to take a while to build the stadium, right. to make all the approvals and all that type of stuff. I think we're still years Everything away. Everything we're talking yeah. about is, is years out. Yeah, so yeah. my kids will still enjoy the Bears at, stadium, at uh, Soldier Field. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Justin Fields got to play with in the snow for a little longer. Right. <laughs>